Hey everyone, here is a my take on Throwback Thursday. I thought it'd be fun, since I've been making YouTube videos for a little while now, to go back and review some of my favorites from years past. So because this is the inaugural Throwback Thursday on my channel, I'm not gonna do it every Thursday because I'll run out of videos pretty quickly, but at least once a month. So I thought it would be good to go back to October, since we're in October, so October of 2010, three years ago, and um, look back at what I listed in my favorites videos and I'll let you know if I'm still using them or what happened and go from there. So I wrote down what I had written down before. So the first thing I'd mentioned was the In Death series by Nora Roberts. And I am excited to tell you that I am, uh, by the time this video airs, I will have downloaded the latest one that came out in September from that series and I will be in the middle of reading it, hopefully, by the time you're watching this video. Um, still a huge fan of the series. The first book is Naked in Death by J.D. Robb, um, who, which is a pseudonym for Nora Roberts, who many of us know and love. Well, we don't know her, but we love her work. Um, so, yes, still in love with it, still love everything she writes, no matter what her name is. Maybelline Born With It, have it on today, and um, it's still the same tube, hasn't gone bad. There's about this much left, so we're getting towards the end. Oh, we just stuck that in my nose. Um, I don't reach for it as much as I used to. There are two Maybelline lipsticks that I keep in my um, everyday rotation, and it's this one, but the one that I actually use more, a lot more, is the uh, Make Me Pink, which I don't know if it's still available, and it's pretty much the same size as that one. This one I really, really, really love. This is still one of my all-time favorites, but Born With It, which is on my lips right now. It's a lighter pink, and looks like somebody chewed on it. Um, still love, still use, it's wonderful. Essence XXL Lip Gloss in Rising Star. Have to admit, I have not used lip gloss at all until maybe the last week. I really haven't used it in months and months and months, and this one is probably, unfortunately, going to have to be thrown out. I was looking at it. I don't know if you can see. I dug it out of the drawer. It's starting to go off, a little weird color. Um, I'm kind of reluctant to put this on my lips. It still, it smells very strong, very sweet still. It's beautiful color. If I were wearing lip gloss, I would definitely want to wear this one. Looks like that. It's that, there we go, milky pink. I mean, it's beautiful. And um, I do have, I think when I bought this, I was trying to approximate the effect of the NARS Turkish Delight. And I now have NARS Turkish Delight, but I would still highly recommend this. Uh, if you can still get your hands on it, get one that doesn't, you know, I'm going to take my life into my hands. I'm going to apply it right now. I just won't lick my lips in case it's gone off. Still smooth, not sticky. I really like Essence lip glosses. I still have a lot of them, but I should probably check and make sure they're all still good. Not everything lasts forever. Uh, Wet n' Wild Nutty. Well, I'll tell you what, I still have it, but I had to dig for it. Um, what I've been doing lately is taking out makeup that I don't use very often and putting it in a plastic box and then if a few, you know, six months have gone by and I haven't gone looking for it, then I don't need it and I either find it a new home or I chuck it. So this one has not been used in at least six months and I didn't use it. It's pretty color. It's very soft still. You know what? Now that I'm looking at it, I'm bringing this baby back. That's a beautiful color. One of the hazards of making YouTube videos is that you accumulate so much stuff, it's just physically impossible to use it all. And in my case, I forget what I have. I mean, I knew I had it, but I forgot how pretty that is. This is beautiful. Okay, this is coming out of the box. Um, NYX eyeshadow, or actually it's a NYX pigment in white pearl or pearl white? Pearl white. I bought this at the time because I had seen a bunch of videos, probably with Tanya Burr, Pixie 2 Woo, um, and she used vanilla pigment from MAC, and I didn't have vanilla, I do now. So I want, this was supposed to be a dupe for it, so what I want to do is a little experiment with you, live. So, here we go, I'm dipping my finger in, and this is the NYX right there. And then I'm taking another finger, and I'm dipping it, it's harder to get because it's a smaller container taking my finger and I'm gotta tell you guys no comparison this one is the MAC and this one is the NYX um, 
when you pack it on the lid, the, the vanilla one is a much more golden warm tone to it, and this is just pure white. And this is a lot chalkier. I, I would, I would probably, if I were you, I'd go for the MAC one. But uh, if you're in a pinch, NYX pigments are still really good. They're just, this, this is not an exact dupe for vanilla if that's what you're going for. Okay, Coastal Scent 28 Neutral Palette. I haven't used this in a really long time. Um, and now I'm getting it even dirtier than it was. But this was one of the first things, and I remember everyone asking me if I could please list all these colors. I had just watched a video and, and saw someone else's and freeze framed it and then got my silver sharpie and wrote it. The reason now why I refuse to do that is these colors, some of them are on point and some of them are so far not that color. For instance, um, what do I have? Uh, quarry. This is listed as quarry. Uh, quarry is almost purple. <laughs> so no, this is not quarry. That's not quarry. It's a pretty color, but it's not quarry. Or this is listed as nylon. Nylon is almost a white gold, very, very, very shimmer. That ain't it. So um, I'm not gonna list. Some of them are accurate. I would have, or like Naked Lunch. This is not Naked Lunch. Isn't this pink? And it's not this brand, like matte. So, um, so I will say this: If you wanted to buy this palette because they're dupes for Mac Shadows, I would say no. If you want to buy this palette because you like these neutral colors, I think these are great colors. Um, I still don't know that I would reach for it um, because I have a lot of these colors or similar colors already in MAC, but I'm thinking that this might be going home with my nieces when they come visit me in December, so we'll see. But um, I still recommend it. I still think that this is a great palette if you don't have a large collection. This covers a lot of bases and it's a good investment. There are a million other brands like this now. I think, what is it, BH Cosmetics is the new one in the bunch, or... Um, What's that other one? Sedona Lace. They all make versions of this, so whatever. You can find this all over the internet. Uh, Revlon Cream Shadow in Skin Lights. I got rid of all my Revlon Cream Shadows. They were getting old. Um, I pretty much used the Skin Lights one up, up to the pan. And um, at the time, Revlon was one of the first drugstore companies to come out with cream shadows. Looking back on them, I don't even know if they still make I doubt they still make them. Someone let me know if they do, but... Um, they creased and they didn't stay put and they weren't great so they made a nice base if we didn't have any other option but now there's just so many options out there in three years what is available in the drugstore is just amazing how much different it is already what's next Jordana Fabuliner I think I mentioned the black one I also still have the brown one um, I don't know why I keep these because I just can't do a black I can't do these kinds of eyeliners liquid eyeliners I just stink at it my eye is not shaped for it, but um, I will say I still like, I mean that's a nice black inky and it's very color and it's very easy to, to do and now I'm covered in it. Um, but if I, 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 the one thing that I don't like about it is since I've made those videos, this video that I first mentioned, my eyes water now more, I have more allergies and so I have found that when I do wear this one or the brown one that if I get teary-eyed at all, it just runs all over my face. So I know there are other ones out there. Like I said, at this point, I think I've given up on li liquid liner altogether, but if I were to try another liquid liner um, or this kind of product, I've heard so many great things about the Stila one, I would probably just get that. But like I said, I'm not running out to get one. Um, the last two were not beauty products. Uh, the Method All-Purpose Grapefruit Cleaner. I don't presently have it, but I have about 8 million other Method products. I just ran out of that one, but I have the Method Wood Cleaner, the Method Stainless Steel Cleaner, the... I think I have Method... oh yeah, uh, hand soap. I have tons of Method products. I love Method products, and um, I highly recommend them. They're an organic line. They smell great. They're usually available at Target and other places, and um, in addition to being organic and inexpensive, they actually happen to work very well. So that's why I would recommend those. And then the last thing, I'm just kind of laughing, I had uh, given a shout out, like she knew who the heck I was, she still doesn't know who I am, but I gave a shout out to Juicy Tuesday, and I think it is very appropriate that I give her another one this month because she just started making videos again. Well, two at last count. So that's, yay, hope she's back for good. So hey, if you ever see this, Teresa, Juicy Tuesday, thanks for inspiring me three years ago and thank you for loading up those videos again. I miss seeing your face on my computer screen. 
So that's it for the first um, Throwback Thursday. I look back at some of my old favorites. It's sort of like a, I don't know what to call it, Throwback Thursday, follow up on favorites. I could have done follow up Fridays, but I upload on Mondays and Thursdays. I don't know, let me know if you like this. Um, I'm kind of curious, you know, every month we just spout out all these products at you and then I always kind of wonder, like, do people still use them? Whatever happens to them? So let me know if you like this format, this topic, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.